fam.news. Hey fam, I'm going to tell you why I'm in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, besides an incredible vacation. We have speakers to announce for Sleep Summit 2024. You're not going to want to miss it. Plus, it's the tale of two businesses. Is this you behind the scenes and would you even know it? I have a story for you. And the way that it ends is great, but how we got there, oh my gosh, couldn't be further separated. The fan podcast starts right now. Hey, are you a mattress retailer looking to supercharge your business? Introducing Podium, your secret weapon. I use it, I'm a huge fan of it. And with Podium's AI powered lead conversion, you can engage with customers in seconds via text, making it feel like they're talking to a friend. But hey, that's just the beginning. Podium offers texting, payments, reviews, website chat, and more all in one place. You've got to be the most responsive retailer to help customers solve those sleep problems in the moment. Harness the power of Podium today and start growing your business. Visit Podium.com right now to learn more. Welcome to the FAM Podcast with Mark Kinsley. This is where the best in the betting business get even better. All right, fam. First of all, got to give a huge shout out to Keith Moneymaker with the Dreams for All Foundation, because I am right now here in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico at the incredible Grand Solmar Resort, right at the very end of the peninsula, really close to the arches, if you're familiar with that. It's absolutely breathtaking. And what happened was back in October, I was the MC for the Dreams for All Foundation event. And in between my MCing duties, there was an auction And I knew for the longest time that uh, Tara wanted to go to Cabo San Lucas. And I decided, you know what? I'm not just going to bid. I'm going to win. Plus, I wanted to support Keith Moneymaker, the entire Dreams for All Foundation, the mission behind what they do, and uh, just help with uh, those efforts as they push forward into more and more communities. So thank you so much to Lane West, who donated this property, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, because he has a heart for what the Dreams for All Foundation is doing in Pinehurst and beyond. And uh, so thank you so much, Lane. This, uh, this is truly a special place. And we've had an absolute blast. And I, and I hope we can continue together supporting Dreams for All Foundation. Uh, happening again this October, the, the big gala, um, as they try to get more beds in people's homes that don't have a place to sleep or might be sleeping on the floor or might be sleeping on the couch. Um, it truly is a special mission. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to get involved, please reach out to Keith Moneymaker. He's all over social media. You can find the Dreams for All Foundation online, and we would love to have you hop in and support. And here at the very end, I'll tell you what I'll do. At the very end of the podcast, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll pick up the camera and we'll take a quick tour because right outside, the waves are crashing against the beach. You can see all of these incredible rock formations. So I'll take you on a quick tour. Um, Hey, big announcement too. Um, We have some of the speakers lined up for Sleep Summit 2024. You need to go online, go to sleepsummit.thefam.com and get your tickets. That's sleepsummit.thefam.com. Get your tickets because we're starting to fill up our speaker slots. We are trending way ahead last year in terms of attendees. Uh, So if you haven't snagged a ticket, go get it now. We want to see you in beautiful Bentonville, Arkansas, October 8th to the 11th. Um, Just signed on an incredible speaker. Colin Lawler is the CEO of Sleep Score Labs. Colin is an incredible mind for bringing a verified ecosystem to the sleep space. And he's absolutely just dropping knowledge and science uh, on me during our phone conversations that I was blown away by. We've got the chief operating officer of Airweave, Brett Thornton. He's going to be speaking from the main stage, author of two incredible books. The uh, I call him Pastor Brent Batterman, one of the best sales trainers in the business. I mean, absolutely world-class. Brent Batterman's going to be there. And from our most popular podcast in the past year, we have, uh, we're going to be honored to have Eugene Aletto, the visionary CEO of Bedgear is going to be speaking from the main stage at Sleep Summit 2024. And that's just a taste. We also are so excited to bring you into the future. Remember, the, the, uh, the theme is back to the future of sleep. Rewinding to what works and reimagining the future. 
These two guys are going to help us reimagine the future. John Anderson and Casper Fopp from Giga Cloud and Wondersign, partner companies that are absolutely going to show you what the future of logistics looks like. It is going to blow your mind. So those are just a few of the speakers that we've lined up. Coming back as sponsors, Podium, BedTech, Airweave is a new one, Giga Cloud and Wondersign, Bed Gear. I talked about Eugene Aletto, also going to be on the main stage. Qualify, one of the most incredible and innovative finance companies out there at South Bay International. Those are just a few of the sponsors that have signed on for Sleep Summit 2024. We're so thankful for their support and for all of you that are signed up and going to get signed up because we want to see you there because it's going to be a transformational event. Remember, conferences are for consumption. Summits are where we unlock solutions in your business and in this industry. So we're so excited for that. I wanted to tell you a quick story um, because we just last night went through a lost credit card from somebody in our group. And it reminded me of what happened back at Vegas Market. So back at Vegas Market, we were going from one hotel property where we had spark sessions and we were going and we had a party and there was some after hours stuff. And then we were going to the next hotel property where we were staying. And in that transition, transitions can be clunky, uh, Tara's purse ended up left in the cab. Yeah, that's right. So Tara and I, she's my wife, for anybody that doesn't know, Tara's purse was in the cab and that cab disappeared. Well, I was using the Curb app. So the Curb app is pretty cool, but it's like, you know, 20% of the time it works every time is one of those things. But the Curb app, is something that you could, uh, you know, you punch in your, your credit card and then when you're in the cab, it syncs up with that cab and automatically pays. Because one of the worst parts about a cab to me is you have to sit there at the very end and run the credit card or do the cash and get it back and forth. And, you know, with Uber, it sort of changed everybody's expectation. You hop out of the car and you walk away and that's it. And so I like the curb app when it does work. Well, this was one of the few times it didn't work, but it said it did. All that basically boils down to this. Whenever I got out of the cab, I asked the guy, hey, did it go through? Did this transaction go through? And he said, yeah, you're all good to go. Well, it didn't go through. So whenever we got out of the cab and we finally realized the purse was missing, I went online to, to check the transaction and the curb app into my credit card. And guess what? It wasn't there. I had no record of what cab company it was. And so we were stuck. So here's what happened next. And this is really the, the tale of two nights. Uh, and, and if you haven't heard that story, the tale of two nights goes like this. It's very short. There were two nights that were part of their uh, father's kingdom. The father was the king. And he wanted these, these knights to go off and learn about the world. And so he sent them off and you know, separately, not, not together. And then after six months, they came back and their father asked them, tell me about your experience. And the first son, son said to him, I was surrounded by wonderful people who brought me into their home. They fed me. They taught me things I didn't know. They introduced me to their communities. And it was a wonderful experience. And he looks at his other son the second night and he said, well, tell me about what happened with you. And the other son said, uh, the place that I went was full of wretched villains. Uh, they were trying to lie, cheat, and steal at every turn. Uh, the people were not welcoming, and I felt near fear for my life at all moments. And the father sat there and he absorbed both of these boys' separate experiences and said to them, I sent you to the same place. So sometimes we get sent to the same place and have two different experiences based on our mentality and based on what we're open to in the world. And this is one of those experiences I had where uh, there were two different opportunities for these two hotel properties to serve us and serve us well. The first property where I was staying, it was all about the processes and the forms and everything we had to go through in order to even simply access the camera footage to let us know what cab company had dropped us off. And so by the end of it, they had taken full body pictures of myself and my wife, both. They had had us fill out multiple forms with carbon copies, you know, press hard enough, the third copy's yours. They had, um, had us talk to multiple people from their staff. They had sent up multiple people from their security detail. 
all of which to get us to the point where they said, we, we, we aren't allowed to let you look at this footage. And then they finally told us, we did look at the footage and we can't see which cab company it is. I had a hard time believing this. I had a very hard time believing this. You know why? Everything's on camera in Vegas. Everything is being filmed all times. So we call the other hotel property. The other hotel property, there was a little bit of friction here and there, but they're like, yeah, come on down and, uh, and we'll, we'll let you look at it. Well, Tara was persistent. She says, well, I can't make it down there. Can I just talk to somebody? So after asking three or four times and being persistent, they let her talk to this wonderful guy named Alex from security. And he took about 30 minutes with her. And he said, what were you wearing? About what time was it? And then he finally is like, oh, I got gotcha. you. So you were in, in the penthouse at this point, And then you and your husband got into the elevator. Um, yeah, he did say... <laughs> he did say, you guys started making out <laughs> so here in the elevator. Then you went down at 9.33, you got into the cab and hey, we're still in love, big time. Uh, 9.33, you got into the cab. Here's the cab company. Here's the cab number. If you call them, they should be able to point you in the right direction. Boom, we call them. And this is after multiple days without her, her being without her purse because it was Sunday and then Nevada Cab Authority was closed and we were going through all these different steps. But Alex, this guy, found us, spent the time, pointed out, got the details, got the cab number, gave us the phone number. After a few phone calls, I got in the phone and they said, yes, we have it right here. Cab company, boop, zips over. We pay the cab fare. Tara gets her purse back. We leave for Vegas the next day. And it had everything, her IDs, credit cards, the whole nine yards. And it just reminded me, there are so many things that happen in each and every person's business that we don't see. And maybe you have a process for that. Maybe you have to fill out forms. Maybe you have to take those full body shots. I know that that's probably far removed from what you do with delivering mattresses or selling mattresses. But think about this. Once you put those wheels in motion, how often do you go back to find out what the customer experience was actually like? How often do you get hung up on a process that creates pain for the person that you're trying to actually serve? I call it being delightfully unhelpful. So from a values perspective, I think it's, it's very important sometimes to revisit in our companies, what is that value and what does that value look like when it's brought to life? Because if you say customer service is your top priority or world-class customer experiences are your top priority, and then you deliver an experience where you have to take full body shots of somebody, fill out all the carbon copy forms and say, oh, tough luck, that is not delivering on that value. And I think once, again, once you put the wheels in motion, you have people that are selling mattresses, you have people working the stores by themselves, you have people that are making deliveries, you have people that are doing customer service phone calls and follow-ups, you're looking at reviews. All these different moving parts of the business are opportunities for somebody to live out that value. And if they don't live out that value in a way that meets your expectations and you never know about it until some guy goes on a podcast like this, it starts talking about his great experience over here with these nights versus his terrible experience over here with these nights. You're never going to know about it. And this is why I think, you know, I, I used to talk about this idea that um, we should reward and recognize our teams for stories because the stories become shareable and they become the pieces and the parts of what living out those values actually looks like in real life. And I've talked about this before, but there's the Magic Castle Hotel in Southern California. And in the Magic Castle Hotel, they actually have contests and they reward and recognize their employees for the stories that they share. And one of the, my favorite stories was like a couple came to that hotel and they were super fans of Marilyn Monroe. And they were talking to the front desk clerk about that. Marilyn Monroe, we came out to visit her grave and go all the places where she made movies, et cetera, et cetera. And so they go out for their day and they come back to their hotel and they close the hotel door. And on the back of the hotel door, there's a poster of Marilyn Monroe with a little quote bubble, a little thought bubble at the side that said, thank you, Jim and Jane, for visiting me today and sharing such a magical experience, even though I couldn't be here to do it with you. Well, that story became a living example, a vivid example, proof that they believed in surprise and delight, which was one of their values. So all this to re remind ourselves to gut check those values and to really get a grasp and a sense of how those are being paid off 
in the moment when it matters. In the moment when it matters to us, property where we were staying literally closed the case. They said, your purse is permanently lost. We've closed the file. You think I'm going back there again? Oh, no. And on top of that, they didn't have any late night eats. Big mistake in Vegas. <laughs> um, think about that. Share this with your teams. Whatever you have your weekly meetings, ask for those stories. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, number one, I want to encourage you right now. Go to, go to thefam.com. You can get to the Sleep Summit page from there. Go to sleepsummit.thefam.com, sleepsummit.thefam.com. Do not wait. Get your tickets. Also, our hotel room blocks expire in a month. And then I'm telling you, in October in Bentonville, it's beautiful. Mountain bikers from all over the world come in. We don't want you to not have a place to stay. We don't want you to miss out on the incredible content, like from the CEO of Sleep Score Labs and the CEO of Bed Gear, Eugene Aletto, and the chief operating officer of Airweave, a Japanese company with 250 stores in Japan alone that's making its way into the US. GigaCloud, Wondersign, BedTech, Podium, Qualify, South Bay, they're all going to be there. Mark Desjardins with Avocado is going to be on the main stage. Yes, that Mark Desjardins, the guy that is really, he got the Spark Award because he's the one that really brought Dream Camp to life when it was just me, him, and Matt Fowler. And now here we are with the industry's most dynamic event in Sleep Summit. All right, fam, get signed up today. Uh, share this podcast with your friends and fam. Thank you so much. Okay, you ready for the tour? All right, it's on. It might be really loud out here. You literally cannot swim on this side because it's so violent. The waves crash so hard. Look at this place. Lane West. Oh my goodness. You are living right, my friend. Got me to turn around. Over here, we you can kind of see on the sliver. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the very end of the Baja Peninsula right there. Right on the other side, it's the arches. And then if you cross through, I'll, I'll give you a POV. Cross through the keyhole. I'm not exactly sure about the Mizahaman walls. Cross through the keyhole, go past the buff walls. And boom, look at that view. Absolutely marvelous. This is going to be like one of those moments at the end or whenever the YouTube comes on and it's like, oh, mom and his line. I'm just going to give you the moment is line. Thank you so much for being part of the fan. Thank you so much for joining me here on the podcast from Cabo San Lucas. We will see you next Monday.